Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to my episode two review of season three of Only Murders in the Building titled The Beat Goes On. Now, if you're coming from my episode one review, now you're right into this second episode. After the events of the first episode, holy shit is an understatement. Like the way Paul Rudd delivered his role and how Meryl Streep is in this. She's not really prominent yet, but Playing Loretta is really, really, really fun. Uh, the trio kind of attend a funeral for a certain character and only to be giving overflow seats, meaning they're not at the actual funeral. So then Mabel meets Greg, one of Ben's fans, and thinks that he can give them a clue to kind of Ben's aspect of how everything works. However, she and Charles discover that Greg is an unhealthy kind of obsession with Ben before he renders them unconscious and kind of handcuffs them in the basement and together and then Mabel kind of in a way tells Charles that uh, it's a personal thing to her because one of her one of his shows helped her after her father died and then the mother and her were just distraught but 30 minutes of a day they were still laughing and together and then Charles gives his backstory of how he thinks that he was a big asshole to Ben because kind of Charles in a way kind of got Ben fired from Brazos when Ben was just eight years old and there's a flashback. There's a big flashback in every aspect of this series. Meryl Streep is not in this episode. It's really forward with Paul Rudd's character and the backstory of that. And then we see the aspect of kind of how Oliver bumps into a critic and kind of wants to know what's going on and how the critic really do something. And uh, he kind of has a minor heart attack. And then he consequently, in a way, hides it that he suffered this minor heart attack from Charles and Mabel, and then said that he's going to turn his play into a musical. Uh, knowing that Greg did not commit the so-called aspect of what you think he did uh, Mabel convinces Charles and Oliver it's time to find the real killer and what happened in this season and make a podcast about it, which they eventually agree to this season once again like the first two seasons is 10 episodes it premiered with a two episode premiere august 8th 2023 the season three episode 10 finale is october 3rd 2023 so it runs for 10 episodes i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of who done it what's going on the aspect of the murder mystery is more prominent in this season i want to say the writing is really good there are some down moments but it's captured with the emotion and everyone's still hiding secrets from one another even though it's three seasons in Martin Short is phenomenal as Oliver. I love Steve Martin as Charles. And Selena Gomez is really coming into her own, starring in this show with both of these legendary actors. And then you add other characters into it, who done it, what's going on. And it's like, wow. Like when you see certain characters and you see certain actors playing these characters, you're like, I saw that person in a TV commercial, you know, TV movie, a movie, TV series, or whatever that case may be. And it's done really, really well. I'm curious to see who actually did do what they did, why they did it, and the aspect of, oh, was it the actual possibility of who did what? Uh, season one twist and who done it was great. Season two was a little bit of a letdown, but season three looks like it's going to be big. You want to bring people in? Cast Paul Rudd, cast Meryl Streep. Uh, even though Meryl Streep was only in the first episode of season three, I'm curious to see how much of a role she plays because in hindsight, uh, Loretta and Oliver, those two characters that Meryl Streep and Martin Short play respectively, are dating. You could tell in a way when they had their interaction at Oliver's party uh, after the opening night, so to speak. So it's really going to be interesting. Like You need the dynamic of how can you capture the murder mystery, the comedy. I mean, this show is running for three strong years now, two and a half, two years maybe, and three seasons in, like, wow. I'm curious to see if they're going to continue this after the third season. Where does it go? What does it lead to? Very, very strong season three premieres. And it's only going to get interesting and better from here. 
Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the first two episode premiere of season three of Only Murders in the Building. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the addition of Paul Rudd and Meryl Streep as being part of the cast? Did you like that uh, mostly all the cast returned? Who do you think did it? Who done it? Who do you think didn't do it? What do you think the aspect is? The motive is behind it? I mean, people love murder mystery podcast they love cold case podcast i mean even there's a part in this second episode where steve martin pokes a joke at the show itself it's like well it didn't take us eight episodes to you know figure out who the killer was which is great when a show pokes fun at itself it's absolutely funny and amazing and it's like a present kind of in the moment type feel and it's really good and also let me know how do you see this show ending and do you think we'll get more seasons after this and how much of a prominent kind of um you know kind of essence will paul rudd and meryl streep have and are you surprised that meryl streep is doing a tv show as is paul rudd let me know in the comment section below about all of the questions i just asked and be sure you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel I will see you all in the next review video, and be sure you tune in next week for my episode 3, season 3 review of Only Murders in the Building.